Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing the oil painting filter effect here in Photoshop, and that looks like that. There we go. Now, this is a filter that was in here before. It went away for a few years, and now it's back in version 2022. It's an easy-to-use filter, but there are a few tricks to get the most out of this, and I'll first be showing you how to do this on a portrait like this, and then further down in the video, I'll be showing you how to do this on a landscape as well, and there's a few tricks over there to make that really work out perfectly. So first, start off by just getting rid of this background copy here. I'll just trash that out of there like that. And the first step whenever I work with this filter or a lot of these destructive filters is to make a duplicate of the background. There we go. I do this whether or not I'm doing smart layers and things like that. Nice safety habit to be in. So I have my background saved. In case anything goes wrong, I can always go back to that background layer. Okay, let's go over here to filter, come down to stylize, and you'll find it right here, oil paint. Now it's not inside of the filter gallery. Let me show you that real fast. Here's our filter gallery. Here's the stylize. In here, all we have is the glowing edges. So it's not in there. You have to go right to the regular filters and right there, oil paint. And that's pretty easy to use. I'll start off by just pushing all these things here clear to the left. In your top slider here, this actually applies the effect. Everything else moderates your effect. I start out about the three quarter position here. There's a preview check right here. Uncheck that and this stays original. Check it and that comes into full. If you click over here in the thumbnail, click and hold, You'll see there's the original, you can drag it around if you want to, let go, and there is the effect. Cleanliness tends to blur things out. It's kind of a blurring, smearing effect. And again, 75% is a good starting point for that, or in this case, you know, 7.4, 7.3, about 75%. Scaling is the size of this. Now you can't really see scaling or brush detail until you bring in lighting down below. Let me pull this up here, just about 25% like that, and then I'll pull scaling up and you can begin to see how the effect is applied in here and depending upon your image this can either look good or bad and brush detail is going to make it just a bit rougher it's kind of hard to see the brush detail let's say roughening tool a little more drastic on that so anywhere in here usually is pretty good on the brush detail scaling gives you the biggest change on this the higher up the larger the blocks the lower down, the smaller the blocks are. And then lighting will take you way up like that to just a lot of detail in there. In most instances, you want to have these settings down fairly low. You don't want to have much in here. Just enough to bring in just a little bit of detail. If I'll clear to the left, I lose a lot of detail in here in the cloth. So bringing in just a little bit of lighting down here, shine in this case, gives me just a bit of detail into the cloth and that really improves the look. As you can see, it's pretty easy to use. Here is full effect. There is no effect on that. This one, all the way down, it's kind of a blotchy effect in here. So it depends upon the look that you want. And we'll find a setting here looks more like an oil painting as opposed to an impressionistic painting. We'll do the landscape as more impressionistic and this more oil painting effect. If I go clear to the left on this, see it just roughens it up. Clear to the right, it begins to smear that out. I'll go clear to the top on this one down pretty low on stylization right down here, and we can play with our scale a little bit in there, and our brush, and a little bit more with the lighting. And somewhere down around here, you can get a pretty good oil painting effect, keeping these settings on the low end. Maybe right about in there. Looks pretty nice, that's a, a pretty good look. Maybe just about like that. Okay, now the eyes are a bit dull. We can work on that, let's just choose okay. And for that, I'm just gonna put a layer mask, new layer mask, there we go. And then set our colors here to the defaults, black in front, white in back. Grab the paintbrush and then just paint into the eye. I'll be a little bit sloppy like that just to get them in place. Reverse the colors and then clean up the edge on that. There we are. And this is a pretty good looking oil painting effect, keeping the settings all at the lower end. Let's now go over here and on this landscape, we're going to push the settings up a lot higher on this one and give more of an impressionistic look on this image. Same thing, right click, duplicate background, there we go. And let's apply the effect. I wanna show you a problem and how to fix that. Stylize, oil paint, and it'll bring stylization clear to the top. And let's bring our lighting up a ways. And it gives a nice effect down here, but really ruins the sky. The sky looks really fake. Nice and impressionistic on the foreground, the background's bad. So what we need are separate layers for the background and the foreground. So go ahead and do that. I'll just grab the lasso tool over here, and we'll do a lasso right around the background. Nothing really special about this step, just a fast lasso. We'll clean this up with Select and Mask after this is done on this step here. Straight across there around this 
foreground horse, and then over around here. And I'm using just a mouse right now. I'm not doing anything fancy with the tablet or anything else. Just straight mouse across the bottom, back up this side, and finish that off. Okay, so now I use select and mask. Bring that up. There we go. I have my view set on overlay, so I have that red masking overlay. There's the brush size. You can see that right in here. And I'll just paint right along the edge, and I'm using the Refine Edge brush, which is the second one down. And we'll quickly do a cleanup on the edge. One reason why I like this technique, it's very fast most of the time. Doesn't need to really be a difficult process for this quick step here. Okay, straight across over there. That finishes that off. Let's now come down here to the bottom of the properties where it says output, and let's do new layer with layer mask. Choose OK, and there we go. So this layer is now our foreground and the background copy. This is now the background. I'm just going to rename this one here and call it sky so it's easy to see. Okay, and let's rename this one foreground. Let's do our sky layer first. Filter, come down to stylize and oil paint. And I'll bring it up so I can see that, and that's too far. But I want to see the effect. Let's bring our stylization clear to the top. Get it nice and smooth. So I'll bring down the bristle detail and the scaling. And we'll just back off on the lighting until we have a nice smooth sky with just a little bit of texture showing it. And I think right about there, just a hint of texture in there. And she's okay. So that's good for the sky. Let's now go to our foreground layer. Back up here to filter. Come down to stylize oil paint. Again, I'm leaving everything clear to the right-hand side here for the most impressionistic effect. We can then play with our lighting to bring in a bit more detail down here and bring up our scaling and bristle detail to bring back in as much of that brush stroke effect as we can and give us a nice impressionistic painting look right down in here. And I think there we go. It looks pretty good. Let's just choose OK on that. So by separating this out into two layers, made a much better image because we kept the sky looking nice and then put in a lot more brush effect down here in the foreground. Let's now place a couple of adjustment layers above this so we can control our values and our saturation. We'll start off with just the saturation level. So that's layer, come down to new adjustment layer, hue saturation. And for this don't check that button, we'll be adding this effect to the whole picture. I'll just bring up my saturation right here to give a bit more color in there. Doesn't take a whole lot as you can see. Just kind of brightens up, gives it much more of a painting effect by doing that. That's fine. And I'll add in one more. Back up to layer, new adjustment layer, and levels. Same thing, I'll leave that one alone. We can then increase our contrast just a bit by bringing the sides in on this. Left and right side makes it a bit more contrasty. There we go, just little tweaks in there. You can control the overall brightness in here with the mid-tone control. And there we go, I think that's looking real nice, but just a little bit of tweaking on that. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.